Hey guys, it's Nathan here from Bowview Barbecue. Today I'm going to do up some pastrami. Starting off with some corned beef. I've, I've washed it out a few times overnight, every four hours. They're quite salty when you buy them at the shops. So the idea of that is to draw a lot of that salt back out. I'll get started. From when it started to what it is now, the corned beef itself has gone like more of a grey sort of colour. It's no longer got the red, deep red colour that traditionally um, beef would obviously have when it's fresh. Because it's still wet, there's no need for me to put any oil or anything on this to any oil or anything on this to make the rubs and that stick with. Just trim the meat up a little bit. I actually like having a bit of that fat on when I cook it. So what I'm gonna do is just rub it literally with the pastrami rub all over. Now you do want to get a bit of uh, a good coverage on this. Reason being is when you slice it up, you're obviously only going to get most of the flavor from the smaller bits that are on the actual outside, where most of the meat will be obviously the slices from the inside. That will op that will have the flavor of the corn meat itself from the brines and everything like that that's been put in it. That's why it is better to do your own. I'm cooking on the egg today. I set it up as a indirect cook. So I've got the rack inside, I've got the pizza pan on the bottom. You can use the convector that the, comes with the eggs, but I've got the pizza pan on there. I've then got the rack on top, which I'm going to place this on. Give it a good smoke. As you can see, this is only about just over a kilo. So it's not a big piece of meat. It's quite thick, but that'll, that'll, that'll actually work out well to keep the juices on the inside. Smoke it for a good two hours and then have a look to see how dry it is. I'm not going to spritz it, I actually want it to dry out the outsides of this. The egg now is starting to settle down at 275 degrees Fahrenheit, 135 degrees Celsius. If you're plus or minus 10, 10 degrees Celsius on that, 25 degrees Fahrenheit, it makes it doesn't really make any difference. So just go with what's um, where your machine really wants to sit. So I'm going to put it in now. The machine's at about 300 degrees. Once I put the, the meat in there, that'll drop it down by about 20, 15, 20 degrees. And we'll be sitting about 275 to 300. Give it a burp. Okay, it's been a good two hours now that it's been smoking on the pecan. So, about time to take it off. Give it a burp, open up. As you can see, slightly dried out, it's gone a bit crusty. I've now got some beef stock. You can obviously make your own at home. I've got a pre-packaged one. Okay, I've just put the pastrami into a tray. It's elevated beef stock in the bottom of it. I'm going to wrap it up now. That'll create a like an oven, a bit of steaming oven on the inside of that. I'm going to put it back in there for about two hours until the center of it hits about 205 degrees Fahrenheit, around about 100 degrees Celsius. Right, as I said, still running at the 275 degrees Fahrenheit, 135 Celsius. It's going to steam in there uh, about two hours, I'd say. So, Boop. so we've hit uh, 96, 97 degrees Celsius internal, 205. So it's time to take her off. It will be quite hot, that's why I'm putting these gloves on. Give it a burp. Open it up. Now we'll see how she's looking, where she's at. 
make sure that it is up to where we want. It's going to be quite hot, there's going to be a lot of steam inside. So. Six odd degrees, so that's that's perfect. If you have a look, you can see it's actually fairly moist on the outside of this, so I want to bark that up a little bit. So I'm going to put it back in there. It's still sitting about the 275, so I'm going to put that back in there um, and cook it by itself on the rack again. Maybe another 15 minutes just to set the outside. So just taking it off, as you can see, it's a lot drier than what it was before. That's all set. So now I'm just going to let it rest. So I'm going to let that rest for a good half hour to an hour, um, just to cool down, balance the temperatures through the internals. And slightly wrap it. Get the bread roll ready. Whole grain mustard. So the meat's been resting now for a good half hour. I like to cut it quite thin. Cut across the grain, which will make all meat fall apart, pulls apart a lot easier, so when you're chewing it, nothing becomes too chewy. Bit of cheese, and I melt the cheese, so I'm just going to put it back into the, into the barbie. Just for about five minutes. Good old pool test. Nobody watching. <laughs> Cameraman privilege. My oh god, that's nice. <laughs> <laughs> As I said, only a couple of minutes that I've got the egg a little bit hotter than I had before, so about 200 degrees Celsius. So that's me a little piece of bread. Taste test. How can you not like that as a sandwich? 